see one more question. So this question is asked in gate 2016 paper. Let us try this. The width of the physical address on a machine is 40 bits. The width of the tag field in a fight, we have to find out this one. The width of the tag field in a 512 KB and the eight way set associative cache is dash bits. So finally we have to find out the number of tag bits. To answer this question before that, sir, should we use word addressable model otherwise byte addressable? So here directly go for byte addressable. From now onwards you remember one thing. If nothing is mentioned, directly go for byte addressable model. Okay. So we can assume byte addressable. And if the question is about multiple choice, then solve the problem with byte addressable. If you get the answer, then just you know take it and go. If you don't get answer with byte addressable, then only go for word addressable. Okay, you follow this technique from now onwards. Okay. So finally, if nothing is mentioned, we can take it as you know byte addressable system. Okay. Let us begin the problem. The width of the physical address on a machine is 40 bits. We have a 40 bit width physical address. Understand? Now we have to divide it into three parts, right? One is tag bits. Second one, you know, set offset. We know that because it is set associative mapping. Third thing is this part is word offset, correct? So here word offset means finally byte offset. Byte offset. So we can use, you know, we can say word offset also, no problem. Okay. So there is nothing in the name. So finally the meaning is I will tell you the word offset means here finally all these bits should be able to differentiate each byte separately that's it okay now you have a cache block okay already I selected somehow using set offset using tag bits I have finally found one block okay don't worry too much here you got already cache block in that there is a byte because our systems are byte addressable right now we have to find out a right byte okay so you should be able to find out the right byte for that how many bits are required so i will tell you one thing example let's say you have only one byte here in the cache block size so directly we can use this formula you have only one byte then you know one bit is enough if you have two bytes then that means byte one byte two then one bit is enough to differentiate two bytes if you have four bytes that means one word okay if you have one word then how many bits are required in the byte offset or word offset portion together simple so one word one word means what how many bytes four bytes right four bytes to differentiate four different bytes how many bits are required two bits in that way we can find out the number of bits here understand now example one more final thing let's say you have 32 bytes in the block 32 bytes then how many bits we will be fixing in the byte offset you know simple 32 5 bits that's simple otherwise you can use words and also you can understand 32 bytes means we have how many words four words i mean uh, eight words right eight words okay so to identify the right word we require three bits after identifying the right word still you want to further sometimes we require you know sometimes we can stop here but sometimes you want to go to a particular byte that is the advantage of byte addressable system. In byte addressable system, sometimes you want to address a particular byte. Then how many um, more bits are required? Two more bits. That's why finally, so 3 plus 2 with 5 bits, we can go to the right byte. Okay. Now, from now onwards, we use this shortcut. Find out the cache block size in bytes. If it's 32, then number of bits required in this word offset is 5 bits. Understand? Now, let us use this concept and we try to solve this problem. Finally, this word offset contains, let's say, W bits. Understand? Or byte offset, whatever. Set offset requires S bits. They did not give in the question. Assume that, let's say, tag bits are T bits. But we have T plus S plus W as dash 40 bits. That you remember. Second thing, equation 1 but we want this t value how to find out t value where s is unknown w is unknown we have one more information that is cache size cache size is 512 kb so 512 kb is the cache size but we can recalculate cache size with you know these parameters 
set offset and everything you tell me what is the cache structure we have in a cache some sets correct because it is set associated to mapping we have some sets right in a set how many blocks we have it is a eight way set associated to mapping in a eight way set associated to mapping you will be having eight blocks in a set so now you tell me so how many such kind of sets we have we don't know right but you you are fixing s bits here if you are fixing s bits here then how many different uh, uh, number of sets we can form 2 power s that means how many maximum sets we can address 2 to the power of s you remember so finally 2 to the power of s sets you might have in your cache that's why you are using s bits correct then each set is going to have 8 blocks so total number of cache blocks in your cache is 2 power s into 8 correct let me revise you have some sets how many sets you might have because you are using s bits for s uh, set of set then 2 power s sets so out of each set you have 8 blocks that's why total number of blocks are 2 power s into 8 and each block has capacity of some bytes we know one thing so this w bits comes from where for 32 byte cache system 5 bits 64 byte cache system 6 bits right so similarly for w bit cache system here if you have the w bits then 2 to the power of w bytes correct so i can say like this now finally each cache block has 2 power w bytes and how many such cache blocks we have in one set 8 right 8 into 2 power w bytes are number of bytes in a set how many such sets we have 2 power s so finally 2 power s into 8 into 2 power w bytes equal to 5 to 12 kb now here we have byte here we have byte gets cancelled then we have 5 to 12 k let us simplify it 8 64 is a 5 12 then you get 2 power s into 2 power w equal to 64 then s plus w will become sorry it is not 64 so it is 64 k right then if you simplify it it would be, it would become 2 power s plus w equal to 64 is 2 power 6 into 2 power 10 so it would become 2 power 16 so here left side left hand side is s plus w then s plus w equal to 16 remember this but we have t plus s plus w is 40 then s t value equal to 40 minus this 16 so 24 bits so that's why 24 is the right answer in that way we can answer this question easily remember one thing from now onwards nothing is mentioned in the question about word addressable or byte addressable byte addressable is the you know default thing